Hi everyone, welcome to the very first Otoscope Excel video. I'm really excited to get started, and I hope you are too. Today, the situation I want to address is when you have a column in Excel that mixes different kinds of data together, and you need to distinguish one type of text from another. Here on the screen, I've got a list of people and their contact information. As you can see, sometimes I have the person's email address, and other times I have their phone number. This second sheet shows where I want to end up. I want to label an email address with email and a phone number with phone. Okay, so the key to our approach is to see that email addresses contain a special character, the at character, that distinguishes them from phone numbers. Phone numbers never contain at characters. What we need to do is to tell Excel to look for that at symbol. That's exactly what the find function is for. The find function takes three arguments. Tell it what you want to find, at symbol, where you want to look, contact information, and the third argument, I explain more in the blog post, but you should almost always use the number one here. The output is a number, which is the position of the at character in the string I searched. For Superman's email, the at character shows up at character number 10. Look what happens when I copy this formula down to the next row, which has a phone number. It shows a scary value error. It turns out this is actually useful to us. I can use an if formula to say, if my find function outputs a number, call it an email, otherwise call it a phone number. To do this, I need to use a logical function called isError. IsError returns true if the stuff inside of it returns an error, and false if there is no error. When isError looks at my find function, it returns false for email addresses and true for phone numbers. Again, that's because my find function outputs that value error for phone numbers, but a number for emails. Now my if statement is easy. If the isError function is true, then it's a phone. If it's false, then it's an email. Copy that formula down, and I'm done. And that's it for this tutorial. Please check out the full blog post linked on this video for more details on implementing the find function. Thanks for watching, everyone, and see you next time.